Vegan Gains became known as one of the most controversial YouTubers on the platform after he relentlessly pushed vegan views in the most psychotic ways possible. He has threatened to murder those who questioned him, filmed his family members' deaths to push veganism, and has had his career ended by one of the biggest names on the YouTube platform. But despite all of this, he has carried on spewing vegan hate speech and tried to attack each of these influencers who dared to question his teachings. To start with though, let's find out who Vegan Gains is, the psycho vegan bodybuilder who seems to chase controversy with almost every single video. Richard Burgess, or Vegan Gains, apparently had a pretty difficult upbringing. He hasn't talked too much about his childhood other than the fact he was born in 1991 in Canada. It's been revealed through different YouTube comments he's left in the past that even from as young as 8 years old he suffered from suicidal thoughts and severe depression, something which has seemed to follow him right up until present day. One fact we do know about Richard, which may have led to his poor mental state, is that he was abused by his grandfather. This fact will be important later, but to start with, we need to look at how he grew his audience in the first place, and that was being extremely controversial and outspoken about his vegan way of life. When you picture a stereotypical vegan on the internet, you probably imagine a hippie who is radical in their beliefs and will fight tooth and nail to get other people into their lifestyle of avoiding animal products. Obviously, not all vegans are this way, but vegan gains oh, certainly is. Yes. Oh it was this outspoken and controversial behaviour that allowed him to grow his small but dedicated following, with a lot of vegans believing he was saying what they were thinking, but were too scared to say it out loud. He's never really been a hugely popular figure to those outside of the vegan community, and is most known for his violent outbursts and behaviour. When I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the f***ing thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the f***ing Pavement. His most insane controversies came in 2015, the most severe of which happened when his elderly grandfather suffered a massive heart attack, and Richard's first instinct was to record it and try to upload to his YouTube channel. Before this though, he actually mocked another YouTuber's cancer diagnosis after he went against his vegan views. Furious Pete is a staunch meat eater and anti-vegan, and he uploaded a video titled The Problem with Veganism, which has now unfortunately been deleted, but due to the massive amount of attention the video got, clip of this infamous rant live on. Veganism has turned into a cult in which vegans are so damn aggressive in trying to influence others that are not vegans to become vegans. And if you say no to them, they wish death upon you. Shortly before this video was released, Furious Pete actually announced that he was beginning his battle against testicular cancer. This cancer diagnosis brought a lot of sympathy to Pete's channel, with comments urging him to stay strong and praising him for being so open. However, one man chose to take things in a little bit of a different direction and called Pete's suffering his just desserts. Vegan Gains created a video titled, Furious Pete Has Cancer Again. Oh no. The obvious sarcasm in the title is the tip of the iceberg for what Richard has to say about Pete, from calling his girlfriend a dumb bitch, Pete and his dumb girlfriend don't seem to like that idea, claiming his diet gave him cancer, so Pete, you think maybe, just maybe, there's a teeny tiny chance that your shitty diet caused your cancer? and taunting his diagnosis. The video at the time got around 350,000 views, but as you can see by the dislike ratio, it was not well received at all, and for good reason. Reddit threads and other YouTubers rightly called Richard out for his frankly disgusting comments and previous behaviour, but because he's a self-proclaimed sociopath, he does not care, and it only seemed to embolden him. After taunting Pete and laughing at the fact he could die from his cancer, making a mock-up t-shirt of this fact, how about you consider the fact that Furious Pete makes fun of the suffering and death of the animals he eats on a daily basis. So, I don't see why I should make a joke about his suffering and death. So who would like a, ha ha, you're gonna die of cancer t-shirt? Richard continues to attack Pete in every aspect of his life, including his training methods, but mainly his diet. A large portion of Pete's videos are eating challenges, which are huge meals and competitive eating videos. But despite this, he's in decent shape. However, Richard has pinned this awful diet as the reason for his cancer and even compared the pain and suffering he went through to that of animals suffering for meat eaters. You're fine with killing animals, but when it's your turn to face suffering and death, you start blubbering and crying like a little bitch. 
Fuck you, Pete. Richard, although we may like to act like he's speaking for all vegans, faced a lot of backlash from those inside the vegan community. He gained calls to end the madness he was bringing to their movement by multiple huge YouTubers, most notably the unnatural vegan, who gave a very level-headed approach to Pete's situation and urged vegan gains to stop harassing him and calling for him to turn to veganism. If I were in Pete's position, I would definitely talk to my oncologist about it and uh, try going vegan. But he has made it abundantly clear that he is not going to do that, and may maybe we should stop. <laughs> Maybe vegans should stop calling out meat eaters who have cancer and, you know, try to get them to go vegan. What is even more insane is that Vegan Gains actually started to build an audience of people agreeing with him, saying that because Pete can eat meat and make fun of farm animals, then the vegans can make fun of him for getting cancer. Despite the attacks, Furious Pete carried on and seemed genuinely unfazed by Vegan Gains, uploading a touching video about his struggles and in an unprecedented move, revealed what life was like having no nuts, showing resilience against the attacks that Richard launched against him. A a couple of years after this controversy, the two actually met at a fitness expo and seemed to bury the hatchet between themselves. Richard claims he has a newfound respect for Pete, but does not take back what he said. He also did not take back the claims he made against his grandfather, who he claims abused him when he was younger. A year or two before the Furious Pete incident, Richard was embroiled in what could be one of the most disgusting stories I've ever covered on my channel. We've established that Richard has very extreme views, but those views even stretch to basking in a family member's death after his grandfather suffered a heart attack. Richard and his grandfather were out flying his drone, and while walking there, his grandfather said he was suffering from severe chest pains. Richard has explained that his grandfather is 82 years old, but his diet is utter sh** in his own words, which he used to explain the upcoming events. His family called for an ambulance, as by this time his grandfather had collapsed in their home, and was probably in a great deal of suffering and stress. If this were you or me, we would probably be extremely concerned concerned and probably slightly traumatised. However, for the vegan sociopath, this was potential views and ad revenue. So Richard rushed to film this experience and actually managed to get most of it on camera. However, his family stopped him from posting it online and rightly so. Just because Richard didn't like his grandfather doesn't mean that his mother and father should be forced to suffer too. Richard seemed genuinely confused as to why his family stopped this though, questioning why they were okay with eating food that causes harm disease, but didn't want to show the effects that his diet had. As soon as the paramedics got to the house, I took out my camera and started filming, but um, a bunch of people in my family, my mom, my grandmother, uncles, shit like that, they threw a big f fit about me showing that footage on YouTube. They're perfectly f fine with eating foods that cause f heart disease and make people actually die of f heart attacks. But when it comes to actually showing people what happens when they eat these foods, that's just too much. Quite rightly, Richard was called out for this and was attacked by almost everyone online, with people calling him disgusting and an absolute psychopath. What is wrong with this dude? This boy values random farm animals over the memory of his grandfather. Worryingly, some people say that it is actually justified because of the abuse he suffered by his grandfather. However, we do know the extent of this was that he hit Richard a couple of times and shouted at him for not being great at hockey. But because he still had a friendly relationship with his grandfather, I think we can all agree that this was an absolutely disgusting decision by Richard. And one of the biggest YouTubers who called him out on this was Repsion, who uploaded a video titled Vegan Gains exploits death of family to push veganism, and he did not hold back any thoughts on Richard. I was blown away at how disgusting and vile this video really is. This is, is the type of video which makes you sit back and say to yourself, is this guy gonna become a school shooter? He explained the ridiculousness of the situation and summed up perfectly the fact that just because his grandfather yelled at him during childhood, it does not give him the right to upload his death for views, money, and attention online. Yeah, your grandfather yelled at you growing up in your childhood. Congratulations, because I had the same issue with my father. I didn't have a great solid relationship with my dad up until now he's had two strokes and he's differently, chemically speaking, in his brain. Despite us having a not a very good love relationship with one another, I would never 
in the, my, the, my first thought would never be to record him having a stroke. You show absolutely no concern. You sit there with this emotionless look. Unfortunately for Repsion though, this put him in the crosshair for one of his psychotic runs. And it seemed like on this occasion, Richard took it way too far as he genuinely threatened Repsion's life. Repsion's a little fucking bitch. Come on. I hate that kid. Like, I usually don't have a huge issue with people I make videos about, but, uh, yeah. If I had the opportunity, I'd kill him. Slit his fucking throat with this knife. Really like to use this knife on him. Like, he really does deserve to die. Like, he calls me a sociopath. I mean, he's just a piece of shit. I don't know if he's a sociopath or not, but he's just a turd. Should just be killed. Like, he's such a smug little bitch. I'd like. Love to just slide a knife right across his throat and just watch him like just look all scared when you know he's just dying. The irony in these threats is hard to miss, and it was pointed out perfectly by the comment section. Calls meat eaters murderers, threatens to kill someone for telling him to seek help, vegans, the pinnacle of morality. This video was uploaded on Repsion's channel as he wanted a public record and accountability for Richard because of these threats. This incident really brought a lot of eyes to their channels and was one of the catalysts for vegan gains being viewed as a true psychopath. It was during this time he was making even more controversial comments, like the time he shared his true thoughts on children and the fact he actually wants to kill babies he sees. I hate children. They literally make me sick. When I see babies in a commercial, I start to gag and almost throw up and I have to look away and mute it. And when I see babies in a stroller, especially when they're crying, I just want to put my foot through the f***ing thing and step on it until it's nothing but blood and pulp on the f***ing pavement. This came after he revealed he actually had a vasectomy to stop himself from procreating, which I think we can all agree is a positive for humanity, no matter whose side you are on. All of these controversies started to build up, and Richard was starting to get a very bad name outside of the vegan community. Funnily enough though, inside the vegan community, he was actually building a pretty devoted following for saying what they were thinking, although it's important to know that this was a small, extremist section of the community. His videos were getting more and more unhinged, and like Rep Epsion said, it was becoming increasingly clear to the general audience that he was mentally unstable. He posted insanely polarizing and controversial videos, all to share the message of veganism and probably to collect ad revenue. However, this ad revenue and ranting was all about to come to an end, as in 2019, YouTube deleted his channel. It was taken down in an automated deletion and Richard claims it was due to an old video of his. You probably aren't too surprised by this, and people on Reddit weren't either, as when someone asked why his channel was down, another commenter explained that he's an insane person who has made so, so many videos where he says crazy homicidal stuff. I'm shocked it took this long. On the other end of the spectrum though, his vegan fan base were less than happy, and even started a save vegan gains hashtag to try and protest the deletion of his channel. Honestly, after everything he's done, I find it amazing that he held on to such a dedicated fan base. Well, it looks like this dedicated fan base actually saved his channel, as not long after it was deleted, it was reinstated. However, much of his video catalogue before this had been deleted. You would think that this close shave with him almost losing his channel permanently, it would tone down the rants and calm down a bit. But it actually seems like the opposite happened, and the channel deletion vindicated him even more as he went on to try and drum up drama from one of the biggest creators on the platform, Penguin Zero. On the 26th of March 2020, Penguin Zero uploaded a video titled YouTuber Tortures and Eats Animals Alive and the content on the video was pretty much that. It was covering a South Korean mukbang YouTuber who, in an attempt to separate herself from the other mukbang YouTubers, decided she would do things a bit differently. She recorded herself eating live sea animals, including octopus, which seemed to be her favourite. Charlie rightly called this out and called the YouTuber disgusting for essentially torturing the animals she was eating. Considering the video was pushing 10 million views and every single comment is in support of Charlie, it's hard to see why someone would disagree with the points he made. But in classic vegan gains fashion, he found something to complain about. And in a bombshell video, he called Penguin Zero the arch hypocrite and gave some absolutely ridiculous reasoning behind the title of the video. He claims that because in a previous video uploaded by Charlie, where he's shown making pork sausages, that he's no better than the South Korean streamer who's eating animals alive. So there's absolutely no excuse for what, for what you're doing here. You are supporting animal abuse and cruelty in the exact same way So Young is. 
The only difference here is that she's doing it herself, whereas you're paying someone else to do it. And in a way, it's even more messed up what you're doing because the way you're doing it is nobody can see it. Even after Charlie advocated for a humane and quick death for the octopus that the streamer was eating, Vegan Gains took issue with it, claiming that Charlie was supporting the meat industry and their awful treatment of animals before they're slaughtered. So who are you to criticize so young for not killing these animals quickly and humanely when you can't even do that yourself. Obviously, not too many people agreed with him outside of the hardcore vegan world, and Charlie was not too happy with the video Richard made. He accused people like Richard and his devoted fans of giving veganism a bad name, comparing their mentality to a cult, and it's hard to disagree with some of the biggest names in veganism being Vegan Gains and The Vegan Teacher, both of whom seem to love being involved in controversy and spewing hate speech. Charlie dismantled Richard's arguments with precision, and explained why people pay for meat as opposed to slaughtering animals themselves, and it's hard to disagree with him. I'm not paying someone to torture animals. What people who eat meat are under the impression of, they're paying someone to humanely provide that food for them, given the circumstances, as humane as it can possibly be. If I found out the place I'm getting my meat from has a fucking YouTube channel where they're finger blasting cow carcasses and using chicken corpses as baseball bats, I'll stop buying from it, obviously. To round off the video, Charlie basically explained Richard's entire attack on him, with it boiling down to one or two points, which have easily been broken down by Charlie. These are the only four times he made a point. The rest of the video was filled with either him repeating the same thing or showing the atrocities that do unfortunately occur in some places in the meat industry. Obviously, Richard wasn't going to let this argument sit, and one day after Charlie uploaded his video, Richard uploaded his response video, which basically repeated a lot of the points he'd already made. He again attacks Charlie for eating meat, even after Charlie says half the meat he eats is actually vegan meat, and basically just disagrees with Charlie on every point. It's safe to say Richard's response video was not well received received, as his onslaught of Charlie was met with an 80% dislike ratio on his video. But it makes you think who the 5,000 people are who like this dross. Well, Charlie decided that enough was enough, and in a 22 minute video, completely destroyed vegan gains, to the point where his channel has barely recovered since, and he is most well known as a psycho who got destroyed by Moist Critical. Charlie explains that he completely disagrees with the way vegan gains portrays veganism. He fully stands in support of regular vegans, those who are more level-headed and are fighting to make a genuine change. However, he's explained what Richard really is. He said this video will be the last time you hear him say vegan gains, because he's milking the drama, chasing clout by using the Penguin Zero name, and his constant attacks have made him extremely tired. He said that vegan gains alienates people from the vegan way of life, and it makes the entire movement look bad. Because Charlie doesn't run a drama channel, he said he's completely done with him and his ridiculous conspiracy theories. And I speak for every when I say he will not be missed. A commenter summed it up and said that it was ironic that a vegan YouTuber could cause this much beef. Since this controversy and his other arguments online, Richard's channel has fell off a cliff, and although he's managed to keep a very small core audience, they seem to be just as deluded as he is. And if you want to see more, make sure you subscribe and click the video that's on your screen now, and I'll see you in the next one. And so highly recommend you go and follow Big Craig, 31,000 followers.